Hi everyone, welcome back to B17 The Mighty Eighth and the crew of C Cup. Yes, C Cup has survived the recent technical issues. See the video on the channel if you want to know more. And we are here, ready to go again. Eight missions flown, 44 aircraft killed. Incredible. Can we make a successful ninth mission? Well, let's find out and head into the briefing room. So, 25th of May, 1944. The Zitz oil production facility is the primary target. Secondary is the Ros Rositz oil production facility and the Bolin oil production facility is the tertiary target. Ordnance selected is 6 times 500 pound general purpose and 12 times 100 pound incendiaries. Distance to farthest target 1357 miles. Fighter escort of one squadron P-38s and one squadron of P-47s. So the primary target, the Zeitz oil production facility. Flak strength is high, fighter strength is high, priority is very high, damage none. Uh, it's an important part of the German synthetic oil program. Raids on these facilities have been identified as one of the quickest ways of bringing the Luftwaffe and Wehrmacht to their knees. Lack of petrol and lubrication oils. Okay. Secondary target, flak strength is moderate, fight strength is moderate, priority is high, no damage. And the tertiary target, high flak and fighter strength, high priority, no damage. Right. Sign our life away and go and check out the map, see where we are going on there. Right, so we're taking off from airbase heading between the flak by the looks, or between the little range it would seem. And, oh, it's a... Crikey, it's a it's a big mission today. We're going all the way over here. Leipzig. Go up there. Good old Berlin. So we're not too far away from Berlin. So that oh my goodness me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But 13 aircraft um, squadrons or 13 airfields could potentially send aircraft up after us today. This is going to be an absolute nightmare. So they've got us coming in here, uh, coming over this little bit of flak here, which will trigger this airbase, no doubt. Triggering all these airbases as we fly over. Another airbase as we fly over. Then coming through the flak, flying through numerous bits of flak for no reason. We can cut that short and cut back through here. Oh man, this is going to be a horror show. Mark my words, this is going to be a horror show. Let's have a look at the reconnaissance film. If by miracle we actually make it to the target. Right, um, so it's a foggy old day, but there we go. We can see the towers, the storage tanks. Uh, it looks to be like a great... I thought it was a lake, but it's actually concrete or something. Uh, to the south of it, and you see the cooling towers and everything. Quite a compact site, so short drop uh, delay, I think. Right, with that all done, let's gather up the rest of the guys and uh, tell them bad news as we head to the aircraft. Right, Matthew as we Wigon. start the uh, the warm up sequence. Cow flaps, open left. My goodness, open you right. can see the uh, the bombs are, uh, and the red crosses. Sorry, the iron cross is Mixture painted on the red. fuselage, indicating our mission's Mixture complete pumps. and on. the kills that we have gained. Energizing. As we fire up these engines, warm them up and start taxiing to run away before we take off and form Mixture. up. Cleared for takeoff.
Okay, and as we climb away, following the new instructions set by the navigator, it's just coming up to quarter past eight in the morning, coming past 18,000, coming up to 19,000 feet, speed 150 miles an hour, heading 110. So, if you remember last time, we had a bit of a catastrophe. Uh, we lost quite a lot of the aircraft from the squadron. Um, so, flying on our flanks today, starboard side, Thankfully, it's our good friends and ever-present Killing Time crew with their eight missions complete and two aircraft kills. Good to have them. And on the port side, we used to have first mate. But sadly, she got shot down last time by the flak. We've got a rookie crew. Varga Venus is on our port side, so we're going to have to keep an eye on those guys, make sure they're okay. Keep our, yeah, the guns trained to kind of help them out. But the rest are all in formation and uh, let's see how far we get before our first catastrophe. Oh, we've got contrails over here. Contrails, I think they're our friendlies diving down so that probably means there's enemies coming up because they're twins so they're the lightnings. Yeah, they're firing at something. I see them. Oh, that's two lightnings. I think they collided. Oh, that's two lightnings going down. They both bailed out. He's coming in. Good hits. The lightnings will follow him off. Seems to be going well. Good, right, I think so we're down two lightnings, and I think they may have lost two of their Fox Wolf 190s. God, that's just the coast there. We've only just started this mission. We've got to really preserve preserve our our um, ammo. Two 190s, he's got lightning on his tail. Oh, he just rammed the seventeen. So I think that's the German one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shoots from that B-17. And the other one was the German pilot. He just opened up our underbelly. It's friendly. Oh, I can't believe that. I wonder what he was doing. He kind of—I uh, think that was a deliberate ram. We've got a potential something there. I see a grey blob. Yeah, got something there. It's like a potential another flight of enemy aircraft coming up towards us. Yeah, that's definitely four dots coming towards us. Let's just pick up the rest of the um, flight. Indicate where they're firing. That's make a jot of difference, but it makes me feel better. 
that everyone should be alert. Must be getting close because they're moving quick. We have that cloud now. See the contrails? Sounds like they won, Randitson. Well, you got one little friend now, I think. Okay, they're circling around now. You can see you got the lightning here. We've got the uh, the four. And craft here they come. So he's coming in. One's got shot. I don't think that was us. Oh, can't get my guns down. Bandit, incoming. Eight, low. He was injured. Bandit, oh, the midsection. Seven o'clock, low. Seven o'clock, low. Don't see them. I right, just jump on the midsection guns. Let them calm down. So took a couple of um, strays from that. Fire in the way. 190. Oh, we're on it. Bandits incoming. Five o'clock low. Now we're getting to put the fire out, and we'll hop on the gun. See the lightning going that way. Bandits. Four o'clock low. Bandits. Four o'clock low. Fire out. Four o'clock low. Oh, is that good? Okay. I see him. Oh, they're all coming for us, aren't they? Quite a few hits on him. But he's, uh, lives to fight another day. We def... Oh my goodness me, look at that bomber down there. It's lost its tail. That fights... Look at it. It's lost its tail. He's not going to be with us for much longer. When that aircraft... Came past us. Oh, so I've missed that one. Oh no! He's just taking him out. Ah! Oh. Didn't see any shoots from that one. Man, we've lost a couple of bombers already. We are only still within sight of the coast up there. Look, crikey, Moses! How are we ever going to get to Leipzig and back? Fire dropping down. Just blowing my gun. Section. They must have take, taken some injury in here. It's not too bad. Man down. I'm going to him. I think it's Cole, is it? It's Cole Roberts. Yeah, he's down. Getting picked up. He's pulling him out of the ball turret. Treat him. I suppose it makes sense you wouldn't be able to treat anyone in there, would you? I can't take this anymore. Get out of here. See any more contrails? So did, has he just finished? Run out of ammo? Started to head home? That'd be nice. Got 
Got him. Well done, boys. <sighs> Better than my gunnery today, anyway. So that's that Cole Roberts. Oh no, we got another one. Eustace Howe has just gone down injured. William Banks, our replacement, he's doing a lot of first day today. He'll probably get a medal for it if he survives. What's happening? It feels real bad, isn't it? So you've got some cannon like holes that. here. Maybe they got raked by a few cannon shells. Could be quite scary. Could be quite deadly. I think he's going to be okay. I hope he's going to be okay. Better. Be he's up. Good stuff. Panic's over, guys. He's hit, but he'll be okay. I'm okay now. I'm okay. Get to it. Okay, we're just gonna get out of this uh, black for a minute. They seem to have got us again in their sights. Climbing up. Oh, and we got through it. Crikey. See, a few bits of shrapnel have gone probably into the nose compartment, so the bombardier and the navigator might be having a few issues. Yeah, having a look at the uh, nose section, a few holes around here. Hopefully these guys are okay. Oh, we got Williams down injured now. Oh my goodness me! I'm on it. So we've had everyone in this section go down injured now. Eustace is coming. Don't worry. What's it like? Am I gonna be okay? It hurts so much. Stop this crap! We need you to do your job, goddammit! Hi everyone. Sometime later, amazingly, it's 10:36. Just coming up to 29,000 feet, which is our bombing altitude. You can see we're a little bit, um, a little bit like a colander, thanks to the flag uh, and the uh, Fox 490s. Okay. But we are at the decision point. Incredibly, we have just flown for the last best part of an hour and a half without enemy enemy fighters, which is incredible. If you think about it. Um, for whatever reason, they're not dropping them and. This big grey mass here, or down here, is Leipzig, and this is where our target is. Now the cloud looks a little bit rubbish, but um, we're going to uh, get a weather forecast very shortly and find out which is going to be the best option for us to attack. Now, we're going to do a, a turn or some damaged bombers, and this is going to be heart in the mouth time, as always. They're behaving themselves, although they're starting to Constantina up. These two are getting worrying. Oh, that's not looking good. Yeah. Christ, and we almost took it. No, we're wingtip to wingtip with. Killing time. We're damaged. Oh my goodness me. That's scary. Meanwhile, let's not look at it. Weather at primary target is believed to be cloudy with six tenths cloud at approximately 8,000 feet. It's not good. Secondary? Weather at secondary target Better. is believed to be fair with four tenths cloud at approximately 8,000 feet. Tertiary. Weather at tertiary target is okay. believed to be Okay, secondary and tertiary are looking the same, so we'll... Approximately 8,000 feet. We'll switch to secondary. Pilot from Navigator. Your new heading is one zero 
five. Repeat, one, zero, five. Pilot, Bob Deer. Roger, I have the plan. Bomb doors, pull open. Okay, you can see the flak starting now, just the head as we settle in. Right, I think we've got locked on now. We don't haven't seen a, a reconnaissance of the secondary target, but we're going to imagine it's probably going to be about the same. So we'll do a shorter drop. Um, and is it going to? It might be in this mass here. Who knows? Um, Let's have a look, see if... I'm going to aim for this for now, because that looks industrial, doesn't it? And then hopefully, as we get a bit closer, more detail will um, come to light and we'll be able to see the uh, storage tanks, cooling towers, that kind of thing. The flak seems mildly dangerous. What was it? Was it? Was it? medium damage for the flak for the secondary. I think that is the target, you know. That does look like a target. Uh, so I'm going to lock into the middle of it. I think that's an oil pipeline down the middle. Let's lock onto that. Yep. Cooling towers are starting to pop into view now. Uh, so that could mean that the middle of the target is going to be about there. Don't forget we got bombers on either side of this bombing. Oh, I didn't, didn't take. And there we go. A little bit of cloud coming over the target now, nothing much to worry about. Black seems to have stopped at the moment, which is always worrying. Makes you think fighters are coming in. A bit of drift going on, let's just minor correct to that. And the clown's going to come at the most inopportune moment. Almost ready to drop. We're not going to actually see. We're just going to have to hold it. Bob's away. Pilot for Bombardier. Autopilot off. It's all yours. Here's the target then. The cooling towers which we spotted. We were aiming for this. Oh, it looks like this big pipeway in, in the middle. Uh, you should see the shadows of the formation coming across shortly. He says, not seeing the shadows of the formation coming across. Oh, there they are, yeah. Well, that's right down the middle. Yes, that's pretty good. A couple of houses and uh, been destroyed with the overrun because some of them would drop. Basically, carpet bombing. We dropped ours in a close cluster here, and you can see the maximum damage to the centre of the facility. Quite happy with that. Okay, we got a bit more flak as so we make our way to the rally point and uh, getting out of here. I think we can probably dive away a little bit, and try and get under this. Although it doesn't seem almost actually thick than I thought. Yeah, let's dive down. Now we've just got the long flight home. Hopefully the uh, Luftwaffe will stay in their bunks and they don't come out to play. That would be certainly a welcome, a welcome thing if that came to pass. We will see. We will see. But we get under this flag now. That's at least something.
Okay, we've got um, William Banks, our replacement, gone down injured again. He's obviously got a bit of blood loss. Xavier, our radio operator, who's uh, got good medical uh, skill, is uh, looking to patch him up. Uh, well, meanwhile, Cole Roberts is just getting back in the bull turret after his treatment. Our rear gunner, Wilson, has also been down shortly for uh, some, probably an injury, probably again a bit of um, loss of blood. The shrapnel that's been flinging around quite a bit today. There you go. Quick, sharp slap to the chops, and uh, hopefully he should be awake. Oof, there you go. That's that's medical skill right there. Oof. <laughs> Smacking him in the head. He's slightly out of sight and you can't see it, but um, yeah, hopefully. Well, this is not looking good. This is taking a while. He does have above average first aid, so. I'm a little concerned why this is taking so long. Come on, Xavier. Oh, thank goodness for that. He's okay, guys. He's hit, but he'll be fine. Thanks, guys. I was scared then. Xavier, uh, go on the radio. Oh, Cole Roberts has gone down now. Oh, my goodness me. William, you come out and pick him, pick him up. Oh, my goodness. This, this section and this obviously is, is probably due to all this cannon fire from the football for 90s obviously struck quite a few of them and uh well i'm sure that would just that would, must be grazes because if you got hit by one of those cannon shells that would that would that wouldn't cut your leg that would take your leg off so um yeah these guys are in pretty bad shape i expect a three or four if not more crew members won't make the next mission they'll be uh sidelined in the hospital for sure oh a little bit more flak coming in what else should we have 23,000 got a bit of a crab on we're not flying straight um, let's dive down oh the rookies have lost their engine from before All right, yeah let's get down it sounds quite thick black this is going through that big band across the Ruhr valley again this is the southern tip of it, of course. Now they've got back on. Oh, this is the say they got back onto our level. They've seemed to have stopped. Hopefully that's it. But I don't think we're gonna get that lucky. Flak has been our real adversary today. Okay, everyone, I've just popped over to the rookie crew, um, basically asked them for a report on how they're doing. Uh, not good. Not good. Let me bring you up. They've lost their captain, Dennis Swaney. Here he is. He's been killed. And also, their waste gunner, Alan Algar, is also dead. They've lost two of their crew, which is a bit of a nightmare. Howard is the uh, sole remaining flight crew on board. Uh, he does need to feather four. And hopefully that will help him um, save a bit of fuel. Let's have a look. Oh, he's run out of fuel in engine four. Okay, that's what it was. Fuel fuel leak in tank four, but um, hopefully they'll be okay now. Okay, a little bit of an update for you. It's uh, coming up to one o'clock. We're dropping down to 15,000 feet because we're outside of the Luftwaffe's range. Yes, we are coming over the coast. The lighty is over there and we are heading directly for it so hopefully I oh, just got across the water in one piece and we well what's left of us and uh, hopefully that should be enough welcome back everyone that below us is the English coastline at uh, quarter to two in the afternoon we've got just under 50,000 feet and uh, yes yeah, so we have made it back to Blighty now just just another 15-20 minutes to our base and uh, see if we can get these heavily damaged bombers back home safely. Oh my goodness, I didn't think we were going to survive this mission. Many of us didn't. Um, but at the moment, our colander 
Sea Cup the Colander has just about survived, although our um, so the cannon fire, which obviously struck the the midsection, which caused so much damage with those uh, those guys in there. So yeah, we've um, we haven't seen hopefully the last of the action today, but let's just see if we can get these bombs out. try and bring her in. She's quite bad damaged. Gear down. Oh, amazingly that's working. Some bombers you have, even the slightest, you know, bit of damage, the undercarriage never works. This bomber, touch wood, has been so reliable with the undercarriage. Alright, deploy flaps. Let's bring her in. Handling isn't too bad at all actually, considering the damage. Just looking at the end of the back uh, of the wing behind the uh, number one engine, it looks a little bit oily and a bit black, doesn't it? But, um, hopefully, that's nothing more than the stony. Actually, no, it's a little bit more than that. It's like there's some damage there. Alright, Bump, but we're down. Let's try and get away from that grass verge a little bit. But there we go. We are safely down. So we'll head over to the hard stand now to park up. And I'll see you in debriefing. Welcome to debriefing, everyone. Wow. That was tough, but not quite as tough as. And as awful as I thought it was going to be. You now I saw that Leipzig was the uh, the target. And I thought that's it. We're done. But um, no, I think we had two flights of Focke-Wulf 190s attack us, and that was it. So many airfields we flew by, and yet they did not send fighters up, which is well, I'm not going to complain too much to be honest with you. But what really did us in was the flak today. There was a lot of flak, and that was pretty damaging to all in uh, in our flight. So anyway. Let's have a little read. So, 25th of May, 1944. The Rosits oil production facility was attacked. Distance flown 1,293 miles. Lost bombers, 2. Enemy fighters shot down, 7. Bomb damage estimate. Target was totally destroyed. There's some good, good uh, news anyway. Crew injury suffered, none. Okay, that... that wow. The number of times that they went down injured, I can't believe. It must have just been, I don't know, maybe we were flying high. We are at 29,000 feet today. Um, so maybe it was a bit of um, bit of frostbite get cut in. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, um, that's good news. There's the bomb damage assessment. Make of it what you will. So, commanding officer's summary. No promotions awarded. Uh, medals awarded, Staff Sergeant Wilson, Bronze Star. Now that can only be for the medical treatment that he did. Um, Akak Annie, bailed out over enemy territory. Uh, nine prisoners of war, one killed in action. Now I, I, I think I counted seven parachutes, didn't I? And we believed one from the German fighter, so eight parachutes. So maybe that wasn't, maybe this was the uh, the crew, and I, I missed I missed one or two. Nine prisoners of war. Nine nine got out, which is good news. Um, sadly, one did not. Bombshell Blonde crashed in enemy territory. All aboard were sadly lost. The other losses must have been from the uh, sister squadron on the other side of the base. So... Nine missions now complete. 49 aircraft kills. And here we are then. Mission number nine. Um, totally destroyed. Secondary targets. 
Wilson, um, our tail gunner. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Sergeant, oh, okay, so no, it, I beg your pardon, it wasn't. It's um, our, our waste gunner um, was Wilson Banks. But actually, the Bronze Star went to uh, Wilson, our tail gunner. Sorry, wrong Wilson. Wilson, our tail gunner, shot down four aircraft. And Cole, our bull turret gunner, shot down one aircraft. Our tail gunner, Wilson, received the Bronze Star. That makes more sense. Looking at the crew information then, Foster Graves continues as our bombardier. Uh, his gunnery is good. His bomb aiming is excellent. Uh, he has been with us everyone, is it right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, every mission he has been with us. And he's got excellent bombing, which is great. Uh, David Skibo, he was a replacement navigator coming out for his first time, I think, today. He was indeed. One mission down for David. Uh, he's got above average navigation, which is good as a navigator. Um, let's see. A raw recruit coming in to just... Uh, fill the place until our usual navigator gets back marty copeland he is our he's he's back he's he was our um original captain and pilot he's got um average piloting because he hasn't actually done he didn't actually come out today he's just replaced the pilot who was with today he's just returned to the aircraft he's done three missions so hopefully he'll get a little bit more experience after that Marty Roth, our co-pilot, has similarly just come out of the uh, the um, the hospital, so he's only completed three missions as well. So we've got a brand new, I say brand new, we've got our original flight crew back in the cockpit, which is good to see. Peter Shu, our top turret gunner and engineer, uh, excellent gunnery, uh, above average first aid and technical, doing well. He's been with us on every mission as well, I believe. So he's. Uh, thankfully okay Xavier Scott our returning uh, radio operator he was injured for a short time but he's back with us uh, above average first aid and above average gunnery now which is good to see as you see four five so he's he missed four due to injury uh, but he's now with us and Cole Roberts our bull turret gunner excellent gunnery skills has he been with everyone no he got injured so he's been three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's missed one, which is not too bad. And then William Banks, who's the replacement. Oh, it's William, not Wilson. I beg your pardon. I got that completely wrong. Um, our left waist gunner, replacement. He's got above average gunnery. He's been with us now for three missions, and he's doing well. He's fitting well into the crew. And Eustace Howe, our race, right waist gunner, excellent gunnery skills. He's been with us from the start. He did get a purple heart, though, so four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Purple Heart, but he did not miss a, a um a mission, which is good. And Tony Wilson, our tail gunner, um, good gunnery skills. He's got about twenty kills now, and he's only been on about four missions. Um, so yeah, Purple Heart, Medal of Honor, Bronze Star, one, two, th only three. I beg your pardon, but he shot down so many aircraft, it is insane. Um, having a quick check on those in the medical wing. Robert Berger, our original left waist gunner with good gunnery skills. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six missions complete. Obviously, William Banks has replaced him. Uh, he is due back on the 6th of June. And who, Harold Schumacher, he was our replacement tail gunner. He's also got about 12, 13 kills. You can see all his medals there. And he flew um, four missions with us. Um, he's not expected back out to the 2nd of June. Uh, Robert Culver, our original navigator, uh, injured last time out. Uh, apart from that, eight missions complete for him, and he's due back on the 5th of June. Yes, yeah, so let's go have a quick look at the bomber. Here she is then, mechanically a status still. Actually, she wasn't too bad, apart from a few holes. I'll probably tape them up. Um, she did brilliantly. Uh... Yeah, patch the holes up. The engine seemed okay, but it's a bit something there, and there's a bit of damage there, uh, which might be a bit of oil or or um, control surface damage. But overall, fantastic. Nine missions complete, 50 enemy aircraft kills. C-Cup is continuing on.
next time will be mission 10 will we survive mission 10 it feels like it's getting harder each time now but um it should be the same mods each mission let's find out next time thanks so much for watching take care i'll see you next time for the next adventure of c cup <laughs>